Hey guys, welcome back to another video of the GX 2020 LG OLED. Uh, another request for my current settings for various different picture modes. This one here is antenna. So this is just regular basic TV off my antenna. Channel 4, Survivor. Uh, I use Expert Bright Room. Make sure you're on original aspect energy off. So I'm currently running 85 OLED light, 85 contrast, 50 brightness, 13 sharpness. 50 color, zero tint, advanced controls, off, off, auto, 2.2, white balance is warm one. And we we'll are go down to picture options, off, 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 real cinema on, true motion user of 6D blur and low OLED motion pro. Those are my everyday regular SDR TV content. Welcome to the channel, guys. I'm Raf. Uh, I'm fortunate enough, fortunate enough to have this TV. I'm pretty, pretty happy with this one. Uh, thanks for all the nice comments and likes, and uh, and hopefully I helped you out in choosing your next TV. All right, so next thing we're going to show is uh, my PC. Uh, this is going to be uh, basically going to be a game mode. So this will be for SDR gaming. So for SDR gaming, we're looking at game mode, of course, original aspect ratio. This is SDR games, 85, 85, 50, 13 sharpness, 55 color, advanced controls, 2.2 gamma, and white balance is at medium, just like video games for me currently. Uh, picture options, we're going to be uh, off, off, everything is pretty much off. And then true motion BFI user is on low. Get a little bit of extra smoothness. So that's going to be SDR game settings. All right, so the next thing we want to show is, uh, let's see. Next thing we're going to show is HDR. Uh, actually, Dolby Vision. Let's do Dolby Vision first. We're going to go to Voodoo, and we're going to watch a little bit of The Shallows. Some Blake Lively. This is a Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos movie. And this will pop up in the corner of Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. It's looking fantastic. This picture is just crazy good. Crazy, crazy good. Okay, we're going to pause it here for okay. And that is a nice pause. Never mind. Uh, yeah, let's look at the settings we have for Dolby Vision. We're going to be on Cinema Home. Cinema Home picture mode. I'm at 95 OLED light, 95 contrast. Because I am sitting five feet from this TV. And it's a 65 inch, so I don't need it to blind me in a dark room. 50 brightness. 10 sharpness, 50 color, advanced controls, off, off, white balance should be at warm one. Peak brightness high, that's automatic for Adobe Vision, leave it there. Picture options, we have off, 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 motion off, and then clear cinema, uh, true motion is automatically on. So that is my Dolby Vision settings, guys. Bye-bye, Blake. All right, so next is going to be HDR uh, Filmmaker Mode. Uh, filmmaker Mode is an a fantastic uh, movie picture setting. Um, basically, it's saying like the director of the movie basically comes to your house and he sets the settings for you to look exactly the way it should. This is going to be some Joker. And this one's a full screen. It looks awesome. Picture's fantastic. What we have here for HDR filmmaker mode. Uh, we got uh, 95 OLED light, 95 contrast, 50 brightness, 10 sharpness, advanced controls. Dynamic tone mapping is on. Uh, it's just on or off for this mode. There's no HGIG. Auto gamut, white balance is on warm two. That's for cinema, film, warm two. Peak brightness is on high. 
and picture options we're going to be off 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 true motion off everything off it's like it should be for cinema all right this is uh joker and uh lastly what do we got what do we got for the last thing that should be i mean we can look at some games uh let's go to our game that's going to be our HDMI input. And this is going to be a PS4 Pro HDR Days Gone. I love this game, guys. Days Gone on PS4 Pro on this TV is just a, a match made. But what I really want to show you guys is, uh, unfortunately, there's some clouds. Look at that. This has real-time weather change, so the clouds have just come on. What I want to show you guys is all these different stars in the sky. They're individual tiny pixels that are shimmering. And what's great about OLED light is every uh, pixel can turn off and on independently so you get that true pixel-perfect star scene. Um, that was pretty awesome to see that. All right, so for my HDR gaming, let's go to that. I did tweak it a little bit from Gears 5. Uh, so we're at 95 OLED light, 95 contrast, 50 brightness, 13 sharpness, 60 color. Advanced controls, HGIG is on, of course. White balance is going to be medium. And picture options, auto black level off, and then user mode. Now, what's unique about PS4 Pro than Xbox One is uh, there's no ALLM or VRR on the PS4 Pro, so I'm able to enable the Motion Pro BFI, and I like it at low. It adds a little more smoothness without dimming the picture too much. So that's a nice feature about uh, this um, motion using on PS4 Pro. Definitely recommend using that. Otherwise, that's, uh, that's it, guys. Those are my settings for HDR game. Oh, one other thing, if you're using this as a PC monitor, make sure you uh, enable the icon, uh, the PC icon, to enable your 444 chroma right here. You go to the gear, you go to this icon, you select it, and then move down to uh, PC. Enable that, then you unlock the 444. Boom. That is it, guys. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching again. Appreciate it. Um, hope everybody is st staying home, staying safe, healthy, and uh, I know there's going to be a drought on TVs this year, but this TV right here, the CX and the B uh, GX, are the flagship TVs of 2020. There's no other better TV, guys. No better TV than this. You are completely ready for next-gen gaming with this one. I am. I'm like, super excited uh, to get the next-gen consoles with this TV. All right, guys, you have a wonderful day. Home theater rules. And you guys, take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.